Hello there guys, welcome to Dino's Vault. I am here at Kawasaki Hyderabad. This is a video where I give you a quick overview of the new Speedo console uh, that the Ninja 1000 uh, 2021, 2021 model has on offer. Uh, comes powered by a 1043cc engine, puts out 142 PS of max power and 111 Newton meters of max torque. This is the new color scheme that's been launched. What's really remarkably evident is the single side mounted exhaust that has replaced the dual exhaust on both sides that used to come with the previous generation model. Apart from that, we have this new uh, 4.3 inch full color TFT console. Let's turn it on. The startup animation looks pretty neat and uh, this is the uh, white, I mean the white color display. We also have the black color display. I can go right here, long press on this and it turns to black, long press on this, it turns to white. So we'll stick with the black one. I think that looks more uh, clear and uh, vivid and you can see the modes right here. So to change the modes, all you need to do is, uh, you know, long press the mode button that's on the joystick. You can see here, this is the mode buttons. These are the things that do most of the work while navigating through the uh, speedo console and the select button. So these are the three buttons that uh, really come in handy. So it's pretty easy navigating through the user interface. So let me just, uh, we are just trying to get the focus spot on now long press down change to rider so rider is the actual customizable mode where uh, you can uh, get in and uh, change the settings as per your personal preference say for instance if you want to uh, change the power it's on full now you can uh, select power and again use the down arrow button to go to low power mode and again up arrow button to go to full power mode and once you've done that, press the select button, go down, select the KTRC, which is Kawasaki Traction Control. And again, use the down arrow button to change the traction control levels. One is least intervention, three is maximum intervention, and you can also turn it off. Go down and press apply, and uh, that is set. Apart from this, let's use the focus block properly. So to get into the main menu, you need to long press on the select button and here you have various setting options get into vehicle settings you have the shift lamp on you have the engine speed you have the Kawasaki quick shifter you can turn it on or off let's set it to on you have the immob immobilizer lamp the rider mode and everything else so let's go back here then you have the display settings you have the mode type and the brightness that can be increased or decreased as per your personal preference and display again this mode you have type one you have different types of layout one is with a complete uh, detailed layout the other one is a slightly uh, more uh, <coughs> sporty kind of a layout so let's go with this and let's see how the display changes So here you have the full display and you can see the rider mode is shifted here. It was here earlier. Now you have the quick shift on uh, indication here. So you have the uh, brake pressure uh, as you apply the pressure on the brake lever. This thing activates how much pressure you're applying on the brake lever. Similarly, if you toggle this down to throttle, it gives you the throttle sensitivity, how much throttle you are using. It's really unique and really groundbreaking technology. Hats off to Kawasaki to come up with this. And then also you, here you have the lean angle. Believe it or not, now this is leaned. Now let's straighten the bike and you can see the lean angle is balanced. And then again lean it and you have 
how far the bike is lean. So again, breakthrough technology at its very best by Kawasaki. And here the mode has changed. Here you have the gear position indicator, you have the RPM rev counter, then the speedo console, then the traction control, the power, everything is mentioned here, including the time. So now let's look at uh, long press on the mode button and you go up in the uh, riding modes. We have rain and then you have road and then you have sport. So I guess that's pretty much it, right? And then you come down again to road, rain and rider. So this was a quick uh, overview of the new 4.3 inch uh, fully color TFT console that the new Ninja 1000 comes equipped with. And uh, apart from this, it also gets the Rideology app through which you can uh, uh, go through the different uh, analytics or different information about the motorcycle. So Rideology app is available on Play Store. So that's pretty much it. I just hope you found this video useful. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Until then, take care, God bless and ride safe.